Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute presenting case 18 for the Manual of Non-CTO Coronary Interventions. This is a case discussing about the timing of switch when radial access is being used for PCI. The patient was referred for stage intervention of a significant lesion in the origin of the first obtuse marginal branch. The patient previously had undergone successful PCI of the left anterior descending with a good result. The patient was hemodynamically stable with, uh, without any significant EKG changes. Engaging the left main was challenging. We could not engage with an EBU and an XB chi catheter, but eventually we were able to engage using a six French ICARI left. The challenge with the ICARI guides is that they don't provide very strong support. They are very good in engaging the vessel, better often than the EBU and the NXB. However, the support is not very strong, and that is why in this case we very early decided to use a gather extension to deliver equipment to the lesion. Despite that, we were unable to deliver a stent probably because of the tortuosity and some calcification into the left main and the circumflex. And during those attempts, the patient started developing severe chest discomfort, at which time a picture demonstrated cessation of flow. Essentially, we had acute vessel closure. When this happens, the first thing is to determine the cause. In this particular case, it was fairly obvious that the region was likely traumatic dissection given the previous attempts to deliver equipment to that area of stenosis. However, other causes include spasm, there could be thrombus, and there can be also distal embolization with noriflow. But in our case, it was fairly obvious that the cause was dissection. The patient had significant ST segment depression and continued to have significant chest discomfort. But, hope, but fortunately, her pressure was being maintained. We decided that we were not going to be able to deliver through the radial axis, and that is why we obtained femoral using an 8 French uh, system. An EBU 3.5 8 French guide was used, and then we had some difficulty, but we were eventually able to wire into the first obtuse marginal branch, and that seemed to help restore a little bit more of flow into the distal circumflex. We did this using a ping-pong technique by pulling back our radial guide while leaving the first wire in place to serve as marker about where the true lumen was. Given the, purf the poor flow in the distal circumflex, we used another guide wire to wire in distal circumflex. We did perform a small injection through the microcatheter to confirm that we were indeed in the distal true lumen, which was the case. And then we ended up having to use two stents because of residual dissection in both the obtuse marginal as well as the distal circumflex. Finally, after significant difficulty delivering, we were able to restore flow in both the first obtuse marginal as well as the distal circumflex. There appears to be still some residual dissection distally, but flow was preserved. Therefore, we decided to not um, perform more attempts for percutaneous coronary intervention. The patient EKG changes normalized and her chest pain resolved. There are several lessons from this case. The first one is that for complex PCI, the radial access and specifically using less supportive guide catheters such as the ICARI left guide might not provide enough support. Potentially, we have a better outcome there if we had used from the beginning an EBU or XB guide and have taken more time to try to engage with that. Nevertheless, if a complication happens using radial access and we have significant challenge delivering equipment, then the solution might be to promptly switch to femoral access and use a large guide catheter that provides good support to allow troubleshooting of the complication. Thank you.